Hey, little guy. Yo, what's good everybody on YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning in back for another video on this channel. And in this video, we're gonna be going over the Sage Shade Gears Alexander Pro Leather Converse sneakers. I have both pairs. This is the Pro Leather Ox, and then the Pro Leather Lift is what I have on feet right now, which is the recent pair that recently came out. A lot of you guys have been interested in this sneaker. So in this video, I'll be styling a couple outfits with this pair right here, alongside with the pair that I do have on feet as we speak. Thank you guys for tuning in to all the videos of 2021. Happy New Year's, Merry Christmas, all that good stuff. Let's have a great start to the year of 2022. So if you guys could do me a huge favor, smash the like button for me, subscribe if you guys are new here. We do post one video every week. Thank you guys for all the support. Let's have a good year and let's get into the sneakers. Let's get into it. <laughs> Bro, what is going on? with today i don't know what just happened with the water situation maybe we'll put a little behind the scenes but uh all right you guys so hopping into the sneakers this is the first pair that sga did drop this was on Foot Locker and also nike.com this is the pro leather ox obviously you guys can tell this is inspired by the off-white mca uh, air force one you just have simple similar colors um, this was the first pair that released i believe this released a couple months ago um, and i did go true to size which is a size nine and a half in this sneaker right here very clean shoe obviously a summer sneaker something that i probably wouldn't wear a lot um, just probably wear all black fit with it and then let the shoe speak for itself so we first talked about the first pair hopping into the second pair these are the sga pro leather lift they are calling it the lift just because these do come slightly platform, which is taller. Um, they do sit a little taller if you guys can tell the difference on video than the first pair. But I do love the second pair a lot. They did post pictures with different toe boxes, which was very weird in my opinion. I'll send them over to Brandon to go ahead and edit. Uh, but overall, just a very clean sneaker. You have an all off-white sneaker, quilted leather on the inside and a couple of panels of it on the outside. You have the star logo which is converse obviously signature logo right here slight gold sga logo on the side and then on the inside you do have this nice floral print which represents his uh draft day suit which is pretty cool just a nice little touch you have the blue flowers with the gold on it overall though when it comes to sizing and everything i wear a nine and a half in jordan ones and dunks and that is the size that i did go in this pair right here so I would say, go ahead, go true to size. I went nine and a half, so that's what I got in this pair. And also the first pair as well, and they do fit very, very nicely. I know Converse sizing is a little weird, but yeah, did go true to size in these. Very, very clean shoe. And um, let's just go ahead, hop into the outfits. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the styling portion of this video. Yeah. All right, so talking about the first fit, obviously a little winter time uh, fit. I do have on the RLC, the recent flannel that did drop in the black and white colorway. I believe this retailed for like 85 bucks, which is a steal in my opinion, because I actually do like how this comes with pockets. Um, I'm wearing a minimal everyday hoodie underneath with a white t-shirt. And then I'm also wearing some cropped pants with the sneakers, um, just because I feel like this shoe is a little weird with pants. Overall, the color is pretty bright, but um, when it comes down to showing the shoe, I like the little flood. You kind of have the nice action right there. And when it comes down to what I'm lacing these, I kind of just loosely laced them because I saw SGA do it. And I kind of liked how it looked because lacing them looks a little odd in my opinion. But yeah, that's what I have on the first outfit. Let me know what you guys think about it. And then the next one will be with a pair of shorts, even though it is wintertime. But like I said earlier, I do plan on wearing these more in the summertime than in the winter. So yeah. All right, you guys, so with the second outfit in this video, when it comes down to the blue pair of SGAs, I am wearing a Donda long sleeve. Shout out to the homie Tyson, who actually to the concert. I'm wearing minimal mesh shorts and then also the chunky socks from Amazon um, with the blue pair of shoes right here. The reason why I did toss on the chunky socks is because I wanted to try these out. I know they're women's socks on Amazon, but I noticed a lot of NBA players are doing it. So why not go ahead and try myself overall i think if i wore these with uh like regular socks it might be too skinny of a look so i kind of like it and also sga did it as well why not go ahead and try and pull it off you guys let me know what you guys think about it overall just a nice pop of color when it comes down to the sneaker on feet let's go ahead move on to the next shoe all right so tossing these on if you guys don't know um these 
be available on Foot Locker still. I'm not too sure, but they're not too far off when it comes like 50 bucks over retail. Um, I feel like the shoe will be 100 pretty soon. You know, maybe there'll be like a, a brand flakes effect after this video, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, yeah, tossing these on, I did lose these lace these as well. Um, like I said, I did go true to size, which is a nine and a half. So breaking down the outfit, I'm wearing a feature hoodie. Shout out to the shop. If you guys know, you know. Um, I'm also wearing a vest that already got me for Christmas, which is just from H&M. I'll try and link everything down below in the description box. And then I'm wearing some minimal cargos um, in black. And then I'm wearing the nice cream SGA, uh, not the Ox, the Lift, because these are a little platform looking. Um, but overall, pretty dope. Let me know what you guys think about it. I feel like it's just a very simple outfit. You can never really go wrong with black and creams. And then also this hoodie is 3M. All right, so for the second fit with the cream pair of SGAs, I am wearing a pair of Dickies that I got from Tilly's. I believe these only retail for like 40 bucks. Um, don't quote me on that, but they are pretty cheap. White t-shirt underneath, Easy Gap hoodie. Very clean, very simple. Um, I actually really love how heavy this Easy Gap hoodie is, and Ari actually got me a second, um, second one. So yeah, we got a purple one, we got a blue one. Looks good in my opinion. And um, actually, the more I wear these, I'm falling in love with these sneakers right here. Yeah. All right, so with the last and final fit in this video, just a little casual fit. I do have on an H&M flannel that I recently got for Christmas. Shout out to Ari. I'm wearing a strawberry jams with my Glock Note blank t-shirt, a little distressing to it. And then minimal, um, the flare denim. I don't even know, the D212 I believe is what they're called. And then you do have the cream sneakers on. Actually a very dope fit in my opinion. I just really like how the light wash looks with the light shoes. Um, yeah, this is the last fit. But yeah, that wraps it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Smash the like button for me. Check out on Instagram. All that good stuff will be linked down below in the description box. I also do have a Discord group. If you guys would like to go ahead and join that, it's completely free. Just a little flaked community thing. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for all the support. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Y'all have a good one. Peace.